There is a magnificent new globe-busting photograph at the Beyond Horizons website that I haven't discussed before. You can read about it here, and the link will be in the description. The photograph was taken in France on July 16th, 2019 by Mark Brett with a Nikon P900. The distance between the two points was 253.7 miles or 408 kilometers. The photographer was located on the Pic de Nufance at a maximum elevation of 9,354 feet. The target mountain was the Tete de l'Estrop at a maximum elevation of 9,715 feet. According to the official dimensions of the globe Earth, 12,196 feet should have been hidden below the alleged Earth's curvature. However, the target peak, Tete de l'Estrop, only had an elevation of 9,715 feet. In other words, the very top of the target peak should have been 2,481 feet or 756 meters below the Earth's horizon. Obviously, you can see thousands of feet of the mountain. Here is further confirmation from a line-of-sight calculator by AirLink. If you plug in the correct coordinates, you get a supposed Earth bulge height between the two points of 1,378 feet or 420 meters, meaning there is no line of sight between the two points, and that's from top of peak to top of peak. Of course, the refraction zealots are going to claim that the mountain has somehow selectively arced over the Earth's curvature to present a false flat Earth again. If that silly explanation helps you maintain your comfortable globe illusion, you go right ahead and believe whatever nonsense you want. For the reasonable, objective person, I hope you enjoyed another proof of this flat earth. Thanks, everyone. Yeah.